Hey everybody, Greg Kazillo from Kazillo.com. Let's go over cropping as uh, as part of the creative process as well as uh, the actual crop tool in Adobe Lightroom 4. I figured it's a good time for an update of that video to do a new one since the new version of Lightroom is out. But let's talk about cropping in a creative sense also. Now when I'm shooting an image a lot of times I do really concentrate on making sure that I'm filling the frame with everything that I want. And in this particular image, I actually I took this at a horse show, and the negative space I think is what really makes this image awesome. I love it, love this image, um, his pose, his everything, uh, the outfit that he's wearing, the I forget what they called this thing right here that they slapped the horse with. Uh, anyway. <laughs> um, it's a, it's a cool image in general, and I think the negative space is what makes it. So cropping this particular image, I think, would be a bad idea. And so when I'm shooting, I'm, I'm looking at the frame. I'm It basically just comes from experience of playing, playing around, knowing what I want to do, how I want to do it, and have an idea of, of creating a good image. Keeping in mind the rule of thirds, uh, a lot of the other compositional rules of photography. So this is one of those images that I think will be ruined with the crop. Now this photo, which I've shown you in the past, is awesome square. It brings us right in. The extra space on the left and right I don't think works at all. Um, I think we're better off with it just as is, right like this. Nice and cropped, nice and tight. Uh, you get that that feeling of um, kind of hominess, and you you know you feel the image when it's cropped in there. Now this image, actually, it's it's a typical portrait, really nice portrait of Sean, but you know what? It's much better off cropped off down here at the bottom. Um, sometimes portraits, I don't know what it is, they're better in that four to five ratio, which is this ratio right here, like an eight by ten print. Uh, rather than this ratio, which is 2 to 3, which is what our DSLRs shoot. So, or at least most DSLRs shoot, I believe, anyway. So, anyway, once in a while I will crop like this, and if it fits it, it fits it. Now, a lot of times I also uh, use a custom picture framer. I don't use any of the big box stores or go to like the, you know, uh, Target or something like that to buy frames because I would much rather have a good quality frame as well as the right molding and the nice thing about it the added benefit is that she's a, my picture framer is able to cut the molding to any size that I want so I can make the picture all kind of irregular sizes and it really doesn't matter to her she can custom make it just like I can custom crop she can make a custom molding to fit around that image so it really doesn't matter what shape that it's in you know it could be square it could be like this you know it could be a panoramic she can make it fit so it doesn't matter here's another square image that just sucks you in uh, the added space again on the outside would not have worked it's just one of those images that in my opinion needed to be cropped now this doesn't mean that I'm sitting and and um, not filling the frame because I am filling the frame. I'm uh, looking at everything, but then when I go back and work on the images and take a look at them, sometimes you are better off and saying, you know what, this needs to be cropped and it looks better cropped. And actually, we're going to go over that here in a minute. Now, this particular image, the client said to me, hey, let's just do it in 16 by 20. I think they already had a 16 by 20 frame, and so they oh, wanted to use it. Okay, great, no problem. So that's what I did. I started off with this background image, and actually this is a composition of, you know, of a bunch of images uh, that I put together. But anyway, uh, we started off with this one background image, and I showed his silhouette here in the middle and then put some other ones around it. But I think he already had a 16 by 20 frame, and that was why we went with this 4 to 5 crop. So lastly let's talk this is a full frame image right here uh, mostly edited not a perfect edit just a quickie but you get the idea so what I'll do is uh, edit the photo get it close do all of my my um, other corrections make it look pretty close to what I want then I'll go in and I'll start cropping now a lot of times if if I'm not sure what I want to do what I'll typically do is create a virtual copy and then come back and look at it. Now let's talk about the cropping tool here real quick. There's a couple of ways to crop 
cropping in uh, in Lightroom for. First, the crop tool is the letter R. The letter R brings up the crop tool uh, pretty much no matter where you're at, I believe. There's a few ways to use it. First, you can just drag in from the corners, okay, and that'll give you a crop, and then R turns the crop tool off. Uh, we can reset it here. We can also take this, and we can drag a crop, and just create a crop, just like we can in Photoshop and you know just about every other program and again the R turns that crop off now the you can uh, lock the crop if you want you have the the normal sizes your two to three your five by seven eight and a half by eleven four by five one to one which is square original and then there's some other sizes then you can also type in whatever size that you want and I actually use this a lot for cropping images that I post on websites if there's a certain size that I need I'll actually enter that custom size in pixels and it works out great but anyway you can you can enter that custom size if you want to there and then you can lock that that size and we'll go to that so say I wanted this to be 4x5 uh, then it's gonna lock it in 4x5 and then I can pick whatever part of that image that I want and crop it okay so that would be a 4x5 crop now say I didn't like that crop and so what we're going to do is we're going to create another virtual copy but let's talk about the, this image itself what am I going to do about cropping this what would I what do I want to leave what do I want to get rid of well let's start top to bottom the sky is really good I think it's fine you know we can use part of it we can leave part of it it really doesn't matter the subject matter is our middle ground right in here and I think keeping some of this foreground is going to be a good thing too. But obviously, uh, this stuff over here, these railings are not ideal. I think when I shot this last year in Vegas, I actually had uh, walked out and shot another one out here in, you know, in the the desert part instead of staying on the walkway and on the stairs. So this is just I'm just using this as an example image. Anyway. So what I do, so I want to turn my lock off. I want, I'm not going to use my um, any of my aspect ratios to control it, but I do want to go down to a panoramic. So I'm just going to drag this down to a, a panoramic about where I think it's I want it to be. And I think in this instance I want it to be kind of thin. Um, so we're going to go back and I'm going to look at it here. And then what I'll do is I'll compare it a lot of times. Uh, and just see all three images here together and looking at the three of these images hopefully you feel the same as I do the panoramic I believe is the is the strongest of the three so it's a nice way to be able to compare to be able to look at and decide how your crop is going to be using those virtual copies by the way with the quick I used a keyboard shortcut to you to for virtual copies it's control and the quote mark all right control and quote it's the one next to the enter key on the right hand side of your keyboard the double quote or a single quote alright that's the the two of those create a virtual copy of the current image so uh, yeah so this panoramic I think is definitely gonna be the way to go it looks much better than having that stuff in the bottom or trying to edit it out in Photoshop in this instance it actually makes a better image uh, it just sucks you in more with that nice thin panoramic it keeps your eyes moving around the image and that's obviously what you want so questions comments concerns I'd love to hear them do you crop do you not crop uh, do you only uh, use that four to three or sorry two to three ratio um, I use a little bit of both, so let's hear it. Greg Kazillo, Kazillo.com. Keep shooting. See ya.